who's going to roll the stone away for us? Somebody put a pin in that because I'm coming back to it. But there's an important point that I need to get before I go there. They brought spices. Somebody's saying, that's good. They were faithful, but these two women still weren't operating in faith. Y'all missed that. You got to understand, <laughs> they brought spices to anoint a dead Jesus. If they really believe what he said, they wouldn't have brought spices, they would have brought him some sausage and eggs. They wouldn't have been asking who gonna do roll the door away. They would have brought him some coffee and donuts. Because before you laugh at them, a lot of us can greet our lives like we're serving a dead Jesus instead of a living Lord. You ought to wake up every morning and be able to present him some spiritual eggs and sausage. I'm sorry, he's Jewish. They got to be beef sausage. But you got to tell the Lord, I believe you're going to touch me today. I believe you're going to solve my situation. You're going to deal with my dilemma because you're not a dead Jesus. You're a living Lord. Oh, somebody give him a living praise. They got the can of spices. It's just us two little women here. We want to anoint him. But we was just here on Friday. And there's a big old rock in front of that door. Who going to roll the stone away? Let me help somebody with the resurrection story. What they didn't even realize, even before they got there, the problem had already been solved. Y'all ought to help me here. Y'all ought to help me here. It was already done. Somebody say already done. Already done. God has already prefixed your problem. Yeah. Oh, somebody help me here. You're worrying about something. You're stressed out about something. And God has already taken care of it even before you get there. They were worried about something that had already been settled. God has a history of prefix. When Jehoshaphat was surrounded by three armies and said, I wonder how we're going to beat them with our small army. God said, don't worry about no army, have a praise party. And when they got there, that army was already dead and they just picked up the spoils. Y'all not helping me. Tell somebody, say he's a God of the prefix. When Hezekiah was told he was getting ready to die, he turned his face to the wall. But before he turned around, the prophet already came back in and said, God has added some more years to your life. He's a prefixer. I wish I had a witness. When the three Hebrew boys got in the fiery furnace, the fourth man was already in there. He's a prefixer. When Daniel was thrown in the lion's den, the lion's bellies was already full because he's a prefixer. Put your arms around somebody say he's a prefixer. Oh, give God a praise in the house. Stop worrying about that thing. The testimony from the tomb is it's already done even before you get there. Give him a praise in the house. 